Hello everyone. I hope you're staying safe. I'm just sharing a little video with you to help you with your work on multiplying and dividing decimal numbers by 10 and 100. Hopefully you've already had a chance to look at the video about decimals, so you remind yourself what a decimal is. So I'm going to go ahead, first of all, oh, actually I'm going to do one thing before I start. I'm going to press this reset button here on this tool. This is the tool we've allocated for you on Active Learn. But I'm going to press reset because sometimes we find it has a little glitch in it and it doesn't work properly unless we press that reset. So I'm going to go ahead and make a decimal number by putting some numbers in my tens column. I'm going to put them two there. In my ones column, I'm going to put the number five. And in my tenths column, so we're talking about numbers now that are lower than one. So I'm going to put a four there. And in my hundredths column, I'm going to put seven. So when I read this back to myself, I've got my whole numbers. So two tens and five ones, so 25.47. And we tend to say it like that, point four seven. So now I can do one of these calculations. I can times it by 10, 100, or 1,000, or I can try dividing. Now, I'll talk to you a bit about that in a minute. But when I'm times in by 10, we know when we times a number, it gets bigger. We times a number by 10, it will get bigger. So we're expecting these numbers now to start moving up towards the left. So let's see what happens when I press times by 10 and see what happens to all of those numbers. So we are going to calculate it now. Times by 10. So you can see what has happened is that all the numbers have stayed in the same order, but they've all moved on one column. So the tens, we had two in the tens, it's now two hundreds. The five that was in the ones column is no longer five, it's five tens. The four that was in the tenths column is now four ones. And the seven that was in the hundredths column is now seven tenths. So everything has moved up one level or just one column. And I say this gives you a little clue because that one zero means you're moving up one column. So I'm gonna clear that answer and I'm gonna try multiplying it by 100. Now, you could just stop the video for a minute and think if you can work out what number we're going to create if we multiply by 100. So pause for a minute, write it down, and then come back again. So let's have a go. Times them by 100. It's gonna calculate that. And there we have it. So the two that was in the tens column has now moved up two columns into the thousands. The five that was in the ones column has moved up two places to the hundreds column. And likewise, these two numbers have moved up two columns as well. So all together now, 25.47 times by 100 gives us 2,547. So I'm going to clear that answer. And I'm going to try this time dividing by 10. Let's see what happens when I press that. Ah. It says it's not possible to answer this calculation in the grid. That's because I haven't got enough grids in this direction on my right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this number out and then see if I can calculate it. So now I've got 25.4. If I divide by 10 now, which direction do you think it's gonna go? Let's see. That's right. It's not moving up this time because dividing a number is going to make it smaller. So I did have two tens before, but I divided by 10. So I'm definitely going to have only two of them. So 20 divided by 10 gives me, uh, gives me two. Same for the five in my ones column. Five divided by 10 gives me 0.5. Yeah, and same in my fourth now that's moving to the hundreds column. So you can see everything is moving in that direction. So you can have a go now um, doing your calculations. If you want to divide by 100, you're going to have to make sure there's no number over here in your 